Josh, we just finished your, your routine now. We're back here at uh, Freedom ABC yes. and uh, <coughs> Final Spa, mate. Final Spa, done and dusted, out of the way. Um, Does your team like you, though? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure whether they do or not, because he's just got... If Aldous calls I can't pronounce it with Aldous surname, but uh, he's, he's a heavy punching, like middleweight. Yes, yeah, he's... Uh, also, it's all southpaw as well. Um, I think it's the only way they can get me to listen. <laughs> because I think if I'm, uh, I think coming down to the last bar, um, I know that I'm going to be a little bit wary because I obviously he's heavy ended. Yeah. Um, keeps you on your toes. Yeah, it still keeps you on my toes, but it's still, you know, if, if I do get caught with a shot, it still chose me to fight. But um, uh, we, we sparred with him last week and we did some good work with him and we've done a few spars with him and um, obviously, you know, you. you you can't make mistakes like keeping your hands low or anything like that because you do get caught up with a shot, you, you feel it, you know, he's a, he's a big lad. Um, especially at this stage of, of camp, I'm coming down in weight and obviously he's just plodding around at whatever he is, nearly <laughs> 12 stone. Um, but today it was more or less just getting the final little bits done, showing a few things what my dad was asking for, and that's it. I know I'm not going to be, um, you know, uh, oh, my polished performance because that's next weekend. You know, this this in this last week I've had some fantastic spars, but then this one is just like, let's just get it done. You know, it's got to be done. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It, get it done and dusted, and that's it. You know, next week is when it really matters. Um, covered just over 100 rounds this time round. Um, yeah, I've made so it, fantastic. It, it, you know, people say you could take this fight a bit lightly because obviously your previous two opponents have been, you know, angry two of the greatest fighters Britain's produced in recent years. Yeah. And now you're, you're fighting, it's fair to say, a, a Frenchman who's unknown by most yeah. people. Yeah. But obviously a dangerous man, you know, only three losses on his record. This is it. You only been beat by two men, because one of those losses was twice by one person. Yeah. So, you know, and and not really much footage on him for you to to, to work on. No, I mean, the footage I, I, I watch, I just try to get a, an idea and a feel for what his style's like, so I can picture it in my head, kind of visualise it. The rest of it, I leave to my dad to come down to and the team to uh, notice certain things. You know, like for instance, Mark earlier was part of the team. He'll watch fights and what he can and get like an idea of average punch counts and you know how many punches are frozen around and all that. This team that you've got is a special team. Yeah, mate, it is. It is. It we, we don't we don't boast. There's no egos. There's no fucking look at us. There's no like diving in front of the camera. All right, my old fella started doing a few interviews now, but you know, it's taken me from fucking nothing to a world title. And, and that's not like being gifted at like area level, English level, like from nothing, from fucking the amateurs, all the way through English, British, Commonwealth, European, internationals, and then world titles. But, but everyone that is added to, his, to your team, and your team's now, you know, it's like stop growing, a few years ago, and this team now look, all have their own little jobs, solid. and no one tries to step on one another's toes. No, no, this is it. And everyone works really well, it, well it together. Works. It's a proper, proper team. It does. I think last time <coughs> in the last camp, we kind of just all got a bit carried away, a bit all hyped up because there were talks of what's going to come after. Obviously, the Galad fucking were quite a lot of mental um, build up to it, a lot of fucking media to do, and uh, we just refreshed ourselves prior, uh, prior to this one. And fucking organisation has been fantastic. Like we're down here in Lindo, uh, um, the Freedom ABC. This is uh, where Jimmy trains most of his lads, yeah. and we come down here for sparring. Jimmy's very, very, very meticulous. He also wraps my hands. He's, he's like fucking anal OCD. But you need it. You need structure because I'm a laid back person. My dad's a laid back person. Um, Nicky's just turns up every time, and Jimmy keeps all that in check. He keeps timing on things, he keeps organisation on he's things. He's the mum. <laughs> he's the mum of it, yeah, he's the mum of it. Your dad Obviously, my, dad's, my dad um, gets in the sparring, gets in the, um, he comes up with the game plans, he dictates what we're going to do in training, when to pull back. You've got Abby, who's Padman, you know, he comes in, gives his own little take on boxing, lazies with my dad, and then does like the sharp stuff because he's, you know, he's small, yeah. but he's, he's got speed, he's got experience on pads. Nicky, He's another eye in terms of the boxing. Um, you, fucking know, you don't want anyone better to fly flag for you in a camp than Nicky. You know, he's a he, good motivator. He's a very, very good motivator. Um, and it's just, he's on eye on the game. It's just, 
if Nicky's fucking brilliant with the basics, sometimes you can overlap that. You know, you can forget certain little things and he just gives you a little reminder now and again. Whoa, what, don't forget this, don't forget about that, about your, your feet. And it's like fucking, and then obviously Marcus is strong conditioning and, and then like fucking a bit of a mental thing with the, you know, he's meticulous with data. So all together, we're fucking an odd bunch, but uh, <laughs> well, like it, it did works. a great video, didn't it? It worked well, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you know, it would, um, it would be good inside that. It was, it was, I yeah. enjoyed watching it. But do me a favour. Yes. Why did they call you Johnny? <laughs> um, bit of a, I always say a long story, but so much was what's been going on for a long time. So a few years ago, when I won the European title, Johnny Gonzalez with WBC. Uh, champion, yeah. and I fucking I might have mentioned Johnny Gonzalez's name, so from there my dad started calling me Johnny now and again, but he won't call Johnny. It was just me, and then around that time, you know, I was doing a lot of media work, and I got and went and got myself a nice little suit, and I fucking remember going, I was going to, to a do, and I was driving up in my battered Fiesta, but I had this fucking lovely free piece on. I'm thinking, fucking hell, though, I feel a million fucking dollars here. I thought I'd better go show my dad and see what he thinks of it. Pulls up, gets out, goes in. He was sat there, fucking eating yesterday's kebab, <laughs> cup of tea, <laughs> fag in his mouth, goes in. He went, Dad. He went, nearly choked on his kebab. I went, the fuck are you wearing? He said, Who do you think you are, you daft sod fucking Johnny Depp? <laughs> so then, then it stuck from there. And then, so that one, I were cemented as Johnny then. And then we had an open workout. Um, I think it was before Dennis Tilbron somewhere around there, 2015, and we started to get busy with media, you know, people wanting pictures and whatnot, but there was a group of Chinese tourists walking past, and they wanted a picture with my dad, so he's like, hey, look at this, I've got my own fan club here, and then they walked off, and they came back about 10 minutes later, there were more of them, they went like, there were five at first, and they were like 10 seconds time, then they disappeared, and they came back an half an hour later, and there were fucking 15 of them, so we were there for a few hours doing media and whatnot, and they came back for the final time, there were about 20 of them. He went, hey, up, here comes my fan club. He's like, oh, fucking just you and his hair. He went, right, ready for another one. And they all got fucking right mad and started shouting at him. He went, you're not fucking Johnny Vegas. You're not fucking Johnny <laughs> Vegas. So, uh, so it's an accumulation of Johnny's yeah, 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 all thrown yeah, together yeah. and now put on to you. And that's it, and that's, yeah. we're just fucking, and he's just like, <laughs> yeah, just, he's, he's called me Johnny. I call him Johnny, big Johnny, little Johnny. That's it. <laughs> Well, uh, back to the fight, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, like you say, it's one of those that, I suppose it's a strange one for you now because the expectations are you're going to win and win comfortably, where the expectations, expectations previously have probably not been, you know, where you've been a big underdog. Has that caused you any issues? Um, no, because I've, I've, I've been a, a favourite before, don't forget Lee, I, I had, I won the European title and then, we kept on talking about the Lee Selby fight for a good fucking six or seven fights and mm. you know fighting these fringe level opponents fringe world title level opponents or whatever you want to call them and uh, I've always big favourite going into them mm. but you still had fucking tough opposition in, in, yeah. in, in the oppo opposing corner you, know, you had the likes of Isashi Amagasa I know. no one had fucking heard about him and he never came back over again he never got invited no one else wanted to fight him again did they right. normally when you see a fighter you know, come over and, and have these fights. They get called again, don't they? You know, oh, fucking he would have got a Yeah, because we all want to compare, but yeah, no yeah, one's yeah. no no one one fucking stepped up and said, yeah, I'll fight like that. Exactly. You know, there were, there, were, there were Joe Bunkner, you know, Patrick Island, all right, he'd seen better days, but he'd still boxed for world titles, he'd boxed at an high level. Um, Kiko Martinez, and yeah, they said he, they said he were finished when I boxed him. Fucking yeah, two years really later, he boxed for world title. Yeah. After me, he went and won the European again. Yeah. You know, Dennis Sealand, all these fights have been, I've been massive favourite because I've been fighting at home, but you've still got fucking dangerous guys there. I think that's why you've there. been massive favourite, because you have been at home, but yeah. really on paper, not, not, maybe not. Yeah, well, it, in, a, in a way, but like, it's like this one, you've still got, uh, you've still got a guy in opposite corner, and if, you know, if we, if, if 2018, the year of 2018 didn't exist, mm -hmm. and that, you know, me coming through with the fucking Selby and Frampton performances, then people look at this and think, fucking you know, hell, this could be a tough test for Josh Warren. Yeah, there. definitely. Do you know what I mean? So, but, yeah, um, yeah. But, but now, because I've come through that and beaten Gallard as well, we're thinking, oh, you know, I think those walk three over here. Uh, are all you, Galahad, and Frampton are still all ranked in the top five mm. of the 
Yeah. For the weight division? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Still up there, mate. Still up there. But so when are you going to get this then? If you come through this, it's got to be next, isn't it? Your next fight's got to be one of those unifications, whether it's Santa Cruz or Russell or, you know, Valdez. Well, the, they've moved up, haven't they? Okay. Va Valdez is gone. Valdez went at first. Um, then Santa Cruz is fighting BJ Flores at um, right. S.O. Perfever. So there's only Russell Jr. left now. I mean, obviously, Shekhar Stevenson. There's a young Chinese kid come on the circuit. Yeah, there's, there's that Kanju. Like <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky bastards. Um, Kanju, he's, he's WBA, regular champion, but you, know, you, fucking, you want to go at the top of the tree, don't you? You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. You want to beat him fight for the, the fucking popper belt, the big belt. Right. Um, what did you think about that we spoke about before? It was a bit uh, out of order, a bit out of character, I think. You know, Gary Russell, the way he was yeah. uh, going about with Santa Cruz's dad, it was. I think that peaked you a little bit because you don't put too much personally on on uh, Twitter and all that, but you come out and that was real out of order, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought it was fucking bang out of order. Um, just for this. Had to do that with your dad. Well, I, I don't know too much. I don't know fucking Will Santa Cruz's dad. I don't know him from fucking Adam, as I say. But uh, you don't do that. He, he's, a, he's a quiet guy. He's, he's been a wellness of, of recent years, and, and and to come away after fucking saying to the camera, yeah, I could have done this, I could have done that. You know, even if you are fucking only winding, it's a bit of a cunt streak. I, I, do you it, know what I mean? It's a it proper fire on him. That didn't on him. It? Massively, it's disgraceful, uh, proper disgraceful. Yeah, there could be frustrations, but mate, you fight fucking once a year. Make yourself active, make yourself known, you're fucking unknown. Uh, he seems silly for him to come out that, because he's eight months away from fighting again. He's, he's daft, mate, he's <laughs> fucking daft, and you know, it, it wound me up a little bit, did that. Because like, I would said something about it on Twitter and after, and he did have some interview with in his in some hotel room after saying, uh, oh, I just want to fucking come on at Twitter, it's a clout move, he's just a club fighter him. Uh, it's a clout move, he's an idiot. He said, uh, he said um, Josh Warren never called me out before Galad. Is he fucking stupid? Galad won't be mandatory. Mm. I had to fight that, otherwise I'd have been stripped out of my title. But I've got this one here. Fucking get for this one, mate. If he wants to come out of hibernation, he normally fights about springtime. That green and gold belt will look lovely on my fucking, in my house. So uh, I'd be one up for that fight. Right, well, we're going to leave it at that. October the 12th. Hopefully I'll be chatting you and you'll be 30 nil, mate. And still. And still, mate. And still. Josh. Take care, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across the north, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.